maybe you're wondering if uh, persistence is a proper name for two sisters. In fact, we are talking about uh, two experiences, both of them having in the center of their activity, the idea of persistence. Uh, persistence appears under different um, other names, but in essence, it's the fight, the struggle of a person to continue what he started or, he, or to resist a certain tendency. So there is a um, persistence. The persistence manifests inside of our hearts. We persist in what we want to do, or we persist, uh, this suppose is something good. We can also persist from the inside in what is not good. We have this tendency of persisting. Um, this is a quality, a great quality, as long as it is uh, good and properly applied. Then the other sister of persistence, the, the inside persistence, is the outside persistence. Uh, this one can be also good or bad. And uh, to one, we are called to give up uh, under its appeal when um, uh, the, the good persists into coming in our lives. And to the other one, the persistence of evil, we are called to resist. They are sisters. So, as the Bible says, persistence is good if it is well applied or properly applied. Let's go in one of the most known stories of the Bible, David and Goliath. Uh, we talk about, uh, and generally, it's talked about the moment when David fights, literally, physically, with Goliath, with his sling and the stone and the words that were said and everything. But the real battle took place before this one. And this one, the victorious battle of David, depended totally of the previous battle. And that was the battle to persist in what he wanted to do for the glory of the name of the Lord. He had to meet first the resistance and um, uh, the, the bad attitude of his brothers, his own brothers from his own family. They despised him. They accused him. They literally marginalized him, um, minimized his presence, and especially they malign his intention. It is because of your pride. It is because of other stuff. They, they literally, uh, knowing or unknowingly, they literally almost crushed his soul, but David persisted. He didn't get upset and let's go home. Uh, he went to the next person and continued his investigation. What is all about with this man cursing the name of God and the whole military hiding in different places? And, and uh, he overcame this obstacle f from, uh, from his own family let alone the resistance from his own heart, because inside everybody would be fearful, confronted with a situation like this. He had to be persistent in what he intended to do against his own fears, then against his own family. Then he met the king, and the king said, no way, you will not go there. That man is a warrior, and you are just a child. You are just a young lad. You cannot do that. But David persisted. He persisted. He persevered. He kept fighting for the purpose of his life and also for the conviction that was in his heart. In the end, it was not David giving up. It was the king giving up because David persisted. Well, we know the, the outcome of the battle. Um, that's the symbol, a symbol of, a, uh, of the of a battle that he had to fight against uh, all kinds of obstacles. Beloved friends, when we want to do something honorable, blessed, blessed by God, uh, appreciated by people, it's not going to be easy. 
all kind of obstacles are going to raise up in, uh, on our way trying to stop us. But when it's about good, when it's about the conviction that God, the Lord, is encouraging me to go on this way, the Word of God encourages me, persistence is golden. Many, many things, great things of this life were not accomplished because the person behind them was not persistent, did not fight to the last, did not resist to the temptation of giving up in, uh, when confronted with obstacles. So continue in what is good. Continue to the last. Uh, turn again and again to the Lord for power. Uh, pray for resistance. Pray for wisdom. Pray for every answer, but never give up. Don't give up in a beautiful, blessed, uh, holy purpose that you have in mind in doing what is good, both for your life or for, uh, family life or uh, people everywhere. Be persistent in the Lord. Now, the same David that was so persistent and that won the war on persistence with his brothers, his family, and with the king, and uh, in fact with everybody in the camp. I don't, uh, the word of God doesn't say a name or a person that encouraged David to, to go, to walk on that road fighting against Goliath. Not one person. It was only the Spirit of God encouraging him, and it was his persistence in what he knew was coming from God that brought the victory in the end. Um, the same law uh, will be applied to our lives today. But the same David, like the same us and ourselves, we have in us the opposite of the tendency of being persistent in good. Sometimes we have the tendency of being persistent in evil or in what is bad, uh, or resisting to, to what is good or, and uh, giving up in front of what is bad. All these are in us. They are sisters. They are present. It's a matter of choice. If you uh, choose to persist in what is good to the end. It is a matter of choice if you choose to give up when the evil persists in uh, coming in, into your life or, or activity. So David was in the one that persisted in his good, good thought for God and for the people. The same man uh, fell in the other uh, side of the road. So he wanted to, to take a census in the people. God said, don't do that. It is me who are leading the armies. You don't, don't count on number. You don't, you don't fight because of the number. It is because of me. I am the leader of the army, so don't do that. No, but he, he already gave the order. And the generals, they came around him and they said, it's not a good idea. Don't, don't persist into doing that. But the Bible says that David persisted until in the end, everybody had to execute the order. He persisted in the evil ways. When he finally achieved what he wanted by his bad persistence, in the end, the Word of God says that when he saw how things came out, uh, his heart starting, started beating faster. He realized that he persisted in an evil course. So who will help us to discern, to understand when I am under the influence, uh, under the influence of a good persistence, when is uh, my persistence is good and when it's not good? This is the Spirit of God. God will help me through prayer, through submission, through authentic desire to know the truth about my persistence. He will illuminate my mind and he will help me understand that I am persisting in something that is good and I should persist to the end or I should not persist or, or resist to the good that is coming in my life, and I would not accept the evil that is coming. I should persist in staying in permanent connection with God. A communication between our soul and God, this communication must never stop. 
it has to be always and permanently. My dears, persistence is a great gift of God if it is uh, properly and, um, and uh, divinely applied in cooperation with God. This is a great, great gift of God. Uh, we need to pray for wisdom in applying his precious gift of God. It, what we know now is that sometimes uh, something appearing as being good will cross our way and will insist and persist into coming in our lives. Something that would appear like being good. Uh, you go to save a person uh, from drowning. Meanwhile, somebody wants to stop you to, to tell you something very important. No, you don't have time. You persist in the course. That person will drown if you don't. Do, you are not there in time. I, I took an exceptional case. Uh, same with any kind of uh, purpose or objective that we have in our minds. We need to be determined to pursue it to the end. Do not persist in what is evil. As soon as the Holy Spirit opened your mind and you understood that your course, course is not good, do not persist. That's not the place to apply your persistence. Resist. Instead of persist, resist. That's the calling of God. And um, quoting Isaiah chapter 32, verse 8, the Bible says, the noble person devises noble things, and in noble things he will continue. He will persist. He will do work uh, to the end because he is a noble person, and he is devising noble plans, and he persists in his noble and blessed plans. Uh, as I mentioned before, nothing will be done without being tried sometimes to the extreme. Now, uh, the, the promise of God to those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honor, and immortality, he, that's God, he will give them eternal life. Do not persist in evil, but persist in what is good. But the one who looks into the perfect law, says James, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing, and blessed be the name of your Lord, of my Lord, and our Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord, and bless my young friends and everybody uh, listening to this uh, short presentation. And may the holy persistence be always present in our lives in doing good. And uh, may the submission to the influence of the Holy Spirit be present when you are calling us to. In Jesus' name, amen.